blessed people. The Lord took me to a place. These are white pastors. They are white people. The white pastors. I see one of them has an iPad with a piece of paper on it. And so they were talking. They had a church still under the same conditions of the church, the field. But they were talking now. And they were saying that if we fool around with this, we will go to eternal hell. And they were discussing, they were having a discussion, they are saying, but look at the glory, how can we ignore this cloud? This is Jehovah. So the Lord made me hear their conversation, and he reminded me of a very tremendous dream he once gave me when he was sending me, and he said, look, I was at the altar and ministering with some few pastors that had come. It was such a massive ocean of people listening to the word of God, and the other church had refused to come. The posted church, the fallen church had refused to come. Those with their false apostles and false prophets and false teachers, the teachers of prosperity, they had refused to come. But when the hour was near, when they saw the visitation of the Lord, they saw the cloud of God coming, the glory coming. And then all of a sudden, last minute, they feared the rapture was about to take place. All of a sudden, the pulpit, the altar where I was standing, where the pulpit was, they rushed in and began to repent and cry and ask for forgiveness. And so I saw even this morning, now these are white pastors. They were saying, but how can we ignore this cloud? This is Jehovah. This is the Lord himself. How can we ignore the glory? And so they were having that discussion. One of them has an iPad and a piece of paper on top of the iPad. And then at that time, then they decided, no, well, I think we have to join this. So they were going to open the door to the church, but the door had been locked. So the Lord had to open the door, but it was dangerous also to open the door because of the way they had set the door. So they were having a discussion. They said, but if we ignore this, we are going to eternal hell. So this is a very critical hour in the church. The Lord is not a joker. The Lord is not joking with man. He is no man that he can discuss with you. If you say you are not a sinner, you make the Lord a liar. The Messiah is coming, and we will catch you at the door. The Lord and I will catch you at the door. That is the day you will weep all the tears in your stomach. You will bring out all the tears in your stomach, and roll in the dust. I've seen you rolling on the dust, gnashing your teeth. The Messiah is coming. But for those who are in the fold of the Lord, listening to the counsel of God, pursuing righteousness, and holiness, and repentance, and zero tolerance to sin, for you, you can celebrate the goodness of God. God has come to your side. Can you imagine if God had gone to another side? But for the other, the dread of the judgment of God beholds. And so this is a very terrifying time when the Lord is beginning finally to reveal the dreadfulness of these two prophets. And it's going to be a very, very ominous time. It's going to be a tremendous, a shocking time, a historic time. God is very serious The Christ has already died on the cross in a very terrible act of judgment to take away sin. So let the nations that have ears enter the glorious eternal kingdom of God, upholding righteousness and holiness. The Messiah is coming. The time is over. I saw these are white pastors. They were having a discussion. A lot of them were saying, no, but we can't ignore this cloud. This is Jehovah. We are going to eternal hell. Let us be careful now. All these prophecies are being fulfilled accurately. We can't ignore this man who will go to hell. They were discussing and then they decided they want to come. They want now to come and submit. Submit unto Jehovah. We will catch you at the door. Those who don't submit will catch you at the door. I'm talking about the church. You will be shocked on that day. You will be put to shame. We will strip you naked at the door. For those with righteousness, you'll enter the eternal kingdom of glory prepared for you. 
you climb those stairs that I commanded down to come down from heaven. The Messiah is coming. Time is bad. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. The Messiah is coming. Israel is waiting. So time is waning out. Time is passing out. The clock is ticking full length now. The Messiah is coming. Prepare the way, blessed people. And for those in Kenya and other churches within the altars globally, you can celebrate to the mark. Because can you imagine if the cloud had visited somebody else across the ocean? Where would you be? How much money would you need the way they love money? Oh, we thank God for Jehovah, my friend, the Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sabaoth, my one and only friend. He'll bring you into the eternity prepared for you. Celebrate in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs>